Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number six of the MPLD Minor Pokemon League and this should actually be the second to last week. I think we've done decently well. I think we've um, done better than I thought we would have. Uh, a couple disappointing losses. I definitely think we could have done better. I definitely think we should have done better, but it's okay. We're here up against uh, Aronsky and the Allendale Arons, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we see here, we see the Gothitelle, Vanillux, Alolan Sandslash, Aerodactyl, Rotom Heat and the Sharpedo. So that is a very scary team. Uh, the Gothitelle is going to be pretty darn... So last week, I kind of... I miffed pretty big against the Gotharita, which completely neutralized my Nidoking. But, uh, so no... No Ditto, first of all. No Whimsicott. No Zerark. No Seismitoad. No Seismitoad is huge. Uh, what else? What else? What else? No Salazzle, which is crazy. No Salazzle is absolutely insane. Part of me just wants to lead off with the Mega Pidgeot here. And I think I might. I think I might just lead off with the Mega Pidgeot. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with the Mega Pidgeot. I don't have any removal, uh, which I realized pretty recently, but um, I don't think it's going to be the biggest deals. I... Okay, so my team in general is one of the most awkward teams I've built uh, in a long, long time. This is a very, very awkward team. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're going to see if it does well, how much I like it. But uh, it's a very awkward team. I don't quite know yet whether or not we, we've lost in team preview by now. But uh, I guess we're just going to see. Leads off with the Vanilla X. As, man, I could have just let off the Torkoal, and it would have been pretty wild. Would he predict just a straight-up Torkoal switch? It could be Scarfed, although I really do want a U-turn here. This thing could definitely be Scarfed. What was he expecting me to let off with? What could I have let off with that he would have expected? Maybe Rapombi? I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, okay, so I definitely have to switch. The only question is, do I go into Torkoal? Do I go into Torkoal? And is this thing scarfed? I feel like I just should go straight into Torkoal here. I have to. I feel like I have to. It's a super obvious switch, and the fact that this thing could be Scarfed is a little bit too scary for me. I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to be another Weather Wars match. Um, most of the teams this season do have uh, Weather Wars happening. Go does just go for the Freeze Dry, which is super interesting. I am Assault Vested this week. I could double switch. He could try to go into the Gothitelle here. I could definitely see Gothitelle. Um, I'll go into Beyonce. Beyonce the the Robombi. I think that's probably my best play. Okay, yeah. So we did call that correctly. I knew he had to go into the Gothitelle, so we were able to go into the Robombi pretty safely. And as much as I want to U-turn here and get a little bit of momentum going, I feel like I have to click Sticky Web. What's his removal? Let me check on his removal. Just stays in. In fact, does he just go for a Calm Mind here? He does just go for the Calm Mind. So, I could be getting 6 0 real quick, like. So, let's actually see. Against a Gothitelle. Against a Gothitelle. Now, I definitely just click U turn. There's no question that I just click U turn. Uh, that did about 20%. So, definitely max HP, also max defense. I feel like, yeah, that means you have to max defense as well. Is that correct? You have to max defense and bold for my U-turn to only do 20%. Is that correct? Um, nature, no, nature, bold. Yeah, n uh, max defense bold is... 
18 to 23 percent so that's about right um which also means you'll probably rest as well um what does that mean for me what does that mean for me It means he's also a plus one. Uh, I might just have to go into this thing. Goes for another combine, so is now plus two. My U-turn might actually be doing more than my hurricane now. No, that that was an exaggeration. Thankfully, it could have, for all I knew. But no, thankfully, that's not the case. Thankfully, that's not the case. And I can just... Actually... Would Heat Wave do more in Sun? No, Hurricane still does more. Okay. We just Mega Evolve. We just click Hurricane. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I keep... Oh, I accidentally clicked Heat... Oh, wow. That's a... That was a complete accident. That was a complete accident. Just, just click Psychic. We do take it. We do take it as the sunlight fades. And now I click Hurricane because uh, that was 100% a mistake. But we are fleeted, free to just click Hurricane. And thankfully, I don't think this Goth... I almost said Gothorita because of last week. This Gothatel can't beat us, I don't think. Because... Man, I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Um, because what this means is that my Needle King should be able to come in, uh, click Shadow Claw, and that should be able to take out this Gothitelle. Needle King comes in. Oh no, I click Poison Jab, actually. Poison Jab does more than Shadow Claw, which is kind of wild, but we are Sheer Force, Life Orb, Poison Jab, and it has a very small chance to live but yes okay okay we do take it out thankfully 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 we're not gonna get six owed by god dang gothitelle um we did have to trade off our mega pageant for that but i guess we just deal with it for now so now he has a pretty dang obvious switch into or no he, he has a he knows that i would have to switch into um in this situation so would that mean that i stay in i don't know i don't think it does i don't think it does i mean if anything i feel like it means that i go into i really think this thing is scarfed i really think this thing is scarfed oh but if it is scarfed didn't i get i got webs up right yeah so its speed is lowered what does that mean for me I feel like, hmm, maybe bringing Zygarde was a mistake. He could have Ice Shard on both of his Ice types, and that could be really bad for me, actually. Let me think. Oh, whoops. Part of me just wants to go into... Part of me just wants to go into... My Jels in here. I really do think that this thing is Scarfed, and if it is, then I think he makes some kind of prediction against my Torkoal. But this is a complete 50-50, 100%. Goes for the hidden power. I, yeah, I think that was a play on my Torkoal. That still does- oh, that's a crit. Yikes. That's a big ol' yikes. Probably hidden power rock, I would imagine. Hidden power ground. Something like that. Ground would make more sense, I guess. So now what does that mean for me? Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Torkoal here. Now we make sure that this thing is Scarfed. If the, yeah, it switches out, so we know that this thing is going to be Scarfed. I don't know what that is at all. Okay. 
So now we know that that thing is scarfed. Okay, sorry, this has been really frustrating so far, but we can manage, we can manage. Now we're in here. I don't think I can hit this thing at all. And I just gave it sun as well. I don't know what he expected. I could have scalded into that thing. I don't know what he would have thought that I would have done. Uh, let me think about what I do here. This thing might actually just beat me, in all honesty. So, okay, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing with this thing. Uh, I don't think I have any real way of hitting it. Um, hmm. I feel like he just clicks. I feel like he just clicks, uh, Volt Switch here. If he overheats, then that'd be wild. Goes for the defog. Okay, that's very interesting. So let me see. Now that I've shown that I'm physical, he could actually just stay in and... Oh, Insan Overheat destroys Nidoking. Hmm. I should have just attacked. This was definitely a mistake. The only way that I could really beat that thing is... If I can get in Zygarde safely, goes for the Will-O-Wisp, we avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew as soon as I brought that in that that was a mistake because I had already revealed it that uh, it was a physical Nido King. So, what does that mean for me? I I, th I feel like I just click Recover. He clicks U uh, Volt Switch. I recover up. He brings in the... He probably brings in the... Uh... Vanillux, I would imagine. And then... That's the only way he really gives his Alolan Sand Slash free reign to do whatever it wants at that point. Um... I can recover up. I have to go into this thing. Um, I feel like no matter what, I just have to start clicking Lava Plume. Does go for the Freeze Dry. So we have been calling these correctly so far, but it's only gonna go on for so long. Now we just click Lava Plume. He can go into the Rotom, but it's going to be sun boosted. It's going to do some damage. And realistically, I'm going to have to wear down this uh, this Rotom over time. This Rotom is really holding me back for right now. Um, How much can we do to this thing? Oh, man. that I was going to say, could that be AV? But no, it, it, uh, it went for Defog earlier, so it can't be. And it's Leftovers, which we just saw. So, mm, that puts me in a really bad spot, to be honest. I don't know what I do against this thing. However, that does mean that it's max special defense, right? 
Or, or no, Torkoal's just probably that weak, in honesty. Lava Plume in Sun is only doing 20 to 20, yeah. If you just, all I have to do is give him max HP, and yeah, that's in range. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. This thing's just gonna go for Volt Switch. It's so free to just go for Volt Switch right now. Um, however... Go, does go for the Will-O-Wisp. He, he, he must have expected me to try to go into, uh... However, wait, okay, so now... Now I've showed that I'm willing to just recover up on this thing, so maybe... This time, on his Volt Switch, I can go into... I can go into... Zygarde, and... Threaten this thing out. Show me Volt Switch. There's no way you you, you turn twi- Or you will wisp twice. Show me the Volt Switch. There we go. Okay. So now... According to the calc, this calc shows that against a max HP Rotom Heat, Thousand Arrows does 200% minimum. And I don't know, give it max defense, and it's a minimum 162%. This could be a free Dragon Dance right now. This could be a free Dragon Dance right now. So I EV'd my Zygarde. I EV'd my Zygarde uh, at plus one to be able to... Uh, outspeed a double speed. Be able to outspeed a double speed. Um. Alolan Sand Slash. So this might be the moment to just click Dragon Dance. He stays in. He stays in. Okay, that's bad. That's really, really bad. How? Why would you stay in? Goes for the overheat. Do we take that? Not... Oh. Okay. Now we now we can't give this thing another turn, because if he goes for the Will-O-Wisp now, then I'm screwed. I'm absolutely screwed. I have to just click Thousand Arrows. Even though I really don't want to click Thousand Arrows, but yeah. I'm really surprised he just stayed in and did that. I'm really surprised he just stayed in and did that. Um... But I'm at plus one attack. And just to be sure, my speed is 172. Uh, at plus one, I hit 158, so... Unfortunately, I would have to Oko this thing in order to stay in here. Vanilla. Scarfed Vanilla X. Thousand Arrows is a roll. If it's max special attack, max speed, it, Thousand Arrows is a roll. But it's probably a roll my, that is in my favor, right? 87% chance to Oko at plus one. Is that a risk that I can take right now? Part of me just says... Why the fuck not? Just, just, just do it for the memes. It's, it's, we're week six out of seven weeks. Why the fuck not, right? That's what part of me is saying right now. But, the better play would be to go into Torkoal. The better play would be to go into Torkoal. And that's assuming that this thing has no defensive investment. Absolutely none. Can I beat his team without Zygarde? Um... Nido King can beat his team, and honestly, Nido King can beat his team. Mostly. It can't be Sharpedo, though. Um. I'm clicking Thousand Arrows. I'm clicking Thousand Arrows. Does go for the double, okay. 
80%. I don't know. Oh, that's the... Okay. That's this thing. We outspeed it at plus one, though. Ooh, that's an Oko. Okay. So Zygarde is getting another KO. Uh, now, does he bring Alolan Sand Slash? And does the Alolan Sand Slash have... Does the Alolan Sand Slash have, like, Chuckaberry? Because if it does, then that'd be bad. But Alolan Sand Slash... Thousand Arrow should... Does he have Ice Shard? Ooh. Does this thing have Ice Shard? I'm really scared of this thing having Ice Shard. It oh, it doesn't get Ice Shard. Does it? I'm looking right now. Ice... It does not get Ice Shard. According to this calc... Um, well, okay, so this assumes a no, um... A no defensive investment, Sand Slash. According to- Okay, so even if I give it max HP, it's- a Thousand Arrows is a minimum 119% at plus one. I have to click it. We do get the Thousand Arrows off. We don't see a Shuckaberry yet. And... That's an Oko. That's an Oko. That's a crit. I- I sincerely hope that that didn't matter. I don't think it did. I guess I'll have to ask him. Um... Maybe he's banking on Sharpedo winning or something? I don't know. But Zygarde is already out here. This thing comes out here. I'm pretty positive that this that this thing's scarred. I think he is actually trying to win with the Sharpedo. I think he is actually trying to win with Sharpedo. I just clicked Thousand Arrows. I should outspeed this thing, yeah. Do we claim a fourth KO? This is the 87% chance. Okay, we do. We claim a fourth KO with that 87% chance to Oko. We will get taken out to, to Hail. It could have been the last turn of Hail, and we could have taken it um, and gotten one final extreme speed off, but uh, that's going to be how that goes. And now... Now we can go into this Torkoal here. This, Sharp this Sharpedo can actually beat me, though, is is the thing, right? This Sharpedo can actually beat me. That's why I went into Torkoal to try to set up the stun, even though I'm giving this thing free turns. Um, I don't, I don't think it gets any like crazy move to raise its attack. It's probably more of a like waterfall waterfall uh yeah i knew that that was coming so what i'm gonna do now actually is i is i want to click explosion here sharpedo because after i set up this sun wait in sun lava plume should do 40 percent. is that right Oh, but Explosion actually Oko's. I click Explosion here. I feel like we take a hit, goes for Surf. It's a special Sharpedo, which means it's going to be Life Orb, which means uh, we only we don't have to do as much damage. We do take it with the Assault Vest, and it is Life Orbed, like we said, and this Explosion is going to win us this match, it looks like. Zygarde just came in, did everything I needed it to do, and that was a really fun match. That match is absolutely wild. Um... I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry for the delays to Aaron. Um, the thing is, my um, Mega Pidgeot, I forgot, something went wrong in Showdown and I accidentally left off U-Turn, so I had to find out where to get the TM for U-Turn in game and then put that in there uh, just to make everything work. But either way, that was a really, really fun match. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more ICBA with the final week of the MPL coming really, really soon. And of course, other stuff in the coming weeks. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.